Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. When we issue a print command in Excel, we would normally have to use more than one mouse click. And I'm going to show you how to save quite a bit of time when you're wanting to print from Excel uh, by using print macros. They're quite easy to set up and if you follow uh, step by step on this upload, I'm sure you'll have no problems at all. First of all, let's look at what we have. I have two worksheets, sheet 1 with some sample text and sheet 2 with more sample text and on sheet 1 I have three buttons. These three buttons contain commands which I will show you how to put them there. First of all, how do we get the buttons on there in the first place? Well in the developer tab, in the insert command in the controls group I clicked the drop arrow and simply clicked on the button here and drew a button on the worksheet drew a second button and a third button. In Visual Basic which I can see when I'm in the developer tab I then added a module and I clicked insert module that put that module there and then I wrote the first macro by typing sub print active sheet always call your macros something that you can identify them by as we'll see shortly followed by an open and a closed bracket when I pressed enter it autom Excel automatically added end sub for me waiting for me to type the code in between and the first code I typed was active sheet dot printout notice no spaces there no spaces there I then copied and pasted that macro and changed the print active sheet by editing to print all worksheets and then I edited the active sheet dot printout to worksheets dot printout and I went through the same procedure copied pasted uh, the sub I renamed print selection and the macro code was selection dot printout then what I did I went back to my buttons back here and I right clicked on the first button whoops right clicked on the first button and I said assign macro and the macro I assigned was the print active sheet that one there and when I clicked OK that's exactly what it did I then right clicked on this one and said assign macro print selection OK, it, it put the macro uh, availability on that button. And finally, the one here, I right clicked Assign Macro and I said Print All Worksheets, which is the same as printing the file, and clicked OK. While I was there, I, uh, for example, I right clicked uh, and at the same time I edited the text from button 1, button 2, button 3, which initially appeared to what we see here and then I formatted those controls by changing the colors and I made the text bold that was all I had to do and then when I click those particular commands they will do exactly what the macro has uh, been programmed to do back in the coding now the problem arose when I wanted to print something from sheet 2 because when I click on sheet 2 the buttons disappear I don't want buttons on every single worksheet that that would be a major task so what I had to do to make certain that sheet 2 could uh, uh, be, be printed I put a little macro button here in the quick access toolbar to do that I clicked on the drop arrow and you'll notice my quick access toolbar here is below the ribbon many people like it above but I prefer it below then I said more commands drop arrow for popular commands macros and then I simply chose the macro print the active sheet and added it to the quick access toolbar and then when I clicked OK I'll click cancel because I don't want to put it on twice there it is if I hover my mouse print active sheet so now it doesn't matter which sheet I'm on there might be dozens of sheets it, uh, whenever I click on a sheet I want to print I simply need to use that particular uh, macro there. I could of course add further macros 
print selection or print entire file. I would leave that up to you to do. You can see the procedure. So as you can see it's not very difficult. It's um, a matter of following uh, step by step. You can't leave any steps out. Be careful that there are no spaces in macros. And importantly when you save a macro file make sure you save it as a .xlsm file by saying file save as put it wherever you need to put it put it on the desktop for example and save as type xlsm so when you click save that's exactly what it will do so I'm going to save it as an xlsm file so that when I now open it the macros will be available thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you do subscribe unless you already have done so you'll be automatically notified of new uploads as they take place in your email again thanks for watching bye bye for now